I don't know if you've ever tried to get a campsite around here this year, but it's tough. They go really, really quick. It's tough. You have to be ready. Yeah, you have you to do. be ready. Got to be planned. 8 a.m. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> yes, it is. It's tough, but it's so enjoyable that it makes sense. I understand why people are trying to get out there and, and go to those places. Um, today, first day of spring. I hope you had a wonderful day. We have summer now in 92 days. If you're thinking about it already, if you're looking for some warmer weather, was it very warm? And it's not going to be that warm this week. The temperature's probably going to hold to about 50 to maybe 52 degrees. Beautiful shot though today. In between some of those showers that we had that were moderate to heavy at times, we had some beautiful rainbows. And this was sent in from Connie. And we have a double rainbow here. Uh, some atmospheric optics going on. Yeah, light can be reflected you know, more than once through a raindrop. And so uh, this is the primary rainbow. And then you get the secondary rainbow, which is going to be a little more faint. And also the colors go in the opposite direction. Uh, very neat. And uh, we love when you share these photos. So go ahead, send some more on in if you had some. Um, I think we had one earlier as well, which was a completely different rainbow. So today's been a, kind of an exciting day. All right, so going through spring, today's the first day of spring. Our, our average high is about 58 degrees. Average low is about 40. The halfway point, which is... I think uh, early May, uh, we see highs around the mid 60s to about the mid 40s overnight. And by the time we wrap up spring there, we get closer to summer, uh, our average high is about 74. So we're on our way to warm up, you know, good 16 degrees by the time we finish off our spring. But this is about the range of temperatures that you can expect as we go through uh, the next couple of months. Uh, as for tonight, we still have maybe a few more showers in and out, but they're not going to be too heavy or too strong. Uh, we do have some dry time early tomorrow morning as we dry out tonight. It should carry over to tomorrow morning and then we're going to stay kind of cool. I mean, we just don't have any warm weather on the way. I think uh, the warmest temperatures that we may get into the forecast is going to be again the lower 60s and that's about it. All right, so you can see the showers uh, a few more there through the Cascades, as I mentioned, very spotty and isolated. If we have anything around Portland for tonight, as you can see here, traveling east on 84 maybe out towards uh, the Gresham region and east of Oregon City, but this is going to be very light and uh, it's not going to produce that much. So things are just really slowing down for tonight. Uh, overall picture, our trough is kind of shifting off towards the east. I mentioned we have that very weak uh, transient ridge, we'll call it, and that's going to break on down by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. So there's that trough. We'll look at it this way. There's that little ridge. And by the time we get to our Sunday, it's gone. Uh, Monday, we're kind of looking a little active, but then we get to Tuesday, we have another ridge. And so that means we should have more sunshine, and hopefully some warmer weather arriving by Tuesday. Got to get through a couple days that way we have some rain. All right, so tomorrow breaks down like this. Temperatures in the 40s, a little cloudy. Uh, some sunshine in the afternoon. We should top off right around 50 degrees. Showers increasing for the afternoon, probably uh, closer to about 2 or 3 p.m. Notice here on the future cast through the morning hours, there's really not much going on as we get to the early afternoon. Clear off towards the east, so probably some sunshine there for uh, Madras is the morning there. We get to the afternoon evening hours, it really starts to pick on up, especially snowfall for the mountains. A bit of a rain shadow going on, but I would expect some rain. And then carries over into Monday before we maybe get some breaks late Monday into the afternoon evening. Hopefully a really nice sunset. Uh, we get into Tuesday, beautiful weather. That's going to be our nicest day. And then Wednesday comes around and we're back to the rain. So we're not going to dodge that. So we do have some wet weather. All right, seven-day forecasts. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be those rainy days. And then we get to Friday and Saturday, Wayne. And I'm hoping that we get those temperatures in the 60s, maybe even our warmest day next week and uh, temperatures flirting with the mid-60s. It's like the rainbow season is here, right? Perfect, perfect conditions Today for that. Today especially, yeah. Yeah, all right. Next on Coin 6 News, another